keep it here. Oh, we're live. Just want to wait for some joiners. Mm. <laughs> I guess so. Mm. Go, go on into the room and click on it and make sure that the quality is okay. Hi, Pika. It's your birthday. Yay, yay. And we're going to have some birthday stuff for you. And then you can go and rest. Okay. Okay. There's Loki. Hi, Loki. He's here with Pika. Oh, I like it. It's good. It's pretty good. And her um, name is Maya. Morning. He's with Maya. Let's go see Stewie. In here resting. I don't know if he'll party or not. He might. Hi, who's joined us? Miss Maya. She's doing a little pat for her friends that are joining us. Welcome. Welcome to our live today. We have all the Chi Chi's in the yard here. It's Loki. Betty Ann, hi. Welcome to the chat. Today we have the requested Pika. She turned 16 years old yesterday and she has come to her own party. We're doing well. Thanks for asking. There's Miss Maya. There's Miss Maya. Nobody can get scratches but her. Nobody can get scratches but her. But we have our dainty little peak up here today. She would love to be left alone by these guys. When I bring out the treats, she will be um, unhappy to share. <laughs> Hi, Auntie Marlene. Uh, the first live I quit because our party girl Pika peed on the carpet and it was kind of embarrassing. There my son's on as moderator. We have a technical thing. Hey, can you turn that down just a little bit? I hear my echo. He's watching in another room. I hear myself. It's weird. <laughs> there's our party girl there's our party and here's our party participant Loki he's up here doing his thing looking out the window this is a spot this is where he hangs out whenever we go someplace he waits for us to come home right here it's so funny yeah um, Auntie Marlene and I um, deleted the other because, like I said, it was embarrassing. We had to bring our, out R2-D2, which is this little friend to take care of the Pika Piddle. Right now, we call her the Piddle Fairy. And our little Bissell just keeps up after any little mistakes she makes because at this point this is our queen <laughs> yeah she could have gotten very nervous Betty and that was uh you know she's very rarely on camera 
Yeah, Pika pees while she walks, so she makes this pattern on the carpet, and it looks like Zorro's been there, so we always know if it's her. But like I said, our little old girl gets whatever she wants. She's under veterinary orders to be able to have whatever she would like. She is perfect. She's not in any pain or anything. She's just getting old. <sighs> and we treat our little old dogs with respect, love, and loyalty, just like they've given us. And as long as she's not in any pain, we give her whatever she'd like. You're not right. You're not right, girlfriend. We have eight people on. Oh, oh, you're going to send a present for Pika? I know you said um, I got your email and I've added the things that you requested to the wish list. Were any of those things for her? Because she's a different measurement than the other dogs. So let me know if you want me to remeasure for her because she is tiny right now pico weighs about one and a half pounds dripping wet because she has had a recent illness she used to be a four pound girl but she's like in maybe even the two pound range right now she's under the vet's care he said she's okay. Just as long as we keep her from doing, like, dumb stuff, like falling down steps and things. We keep her away from everything now because she has trouble seeing. She is so tiny. She's always been our little tiny girl. This baby was such a dynamo when she was a puppy. I mean, if, if uh, you guys got the opportunity to see that one where I had... Put the puppy stuff on. I did get your emails. I responded, um, Auntie Betty Ann, and I put things on the uh, the wish list that you requested. Um, like I said, though, if any of those items were supposed to be for Pika, I need to remeasure them because I did the Maya size instead of Pika size. And Pika here has different measurements than the other dogs because she's so tiny. I mean, she's itty bitty. If anything is for her, it is going to be extra small. Yeah, anything for Pika would be extra small. Look at them, they're sitting together. We hardly ever had this. When Pika was actually very, very well, she wouldn't want to sit with any of them. Because she's a loner. She was actually a solo puppy. When she was born, she was the only one. Her mama only had one. So Pika never had to share anything. She does love Stewie, though. Because they were raised together. They're two months apart in age. Stewie's going to be having a birthday coming up in September. And he'll be 16 then, too. So this queen is two months older than that king. Look at her. She is having a good time. And this guy's having a good time. Aren't you? What do you see out that window? Do you see stuff and things? He looks like Mufasa. Mufasa, 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 looking out over his kingdom. <laughs> He's so handsome. Oh, we had a cardinal outside. I don't know if any of you got a chance to see that. We have our bird bath out there. And they watch the birds. I think he's waiting for his daddy to come home. Daddy's at work today. So I'm having Chihuahua Day by myself today, isn't that right? He's Maya. He's Maya. 
I have some Nom Nom to give to Pika. And I might need extra hands for that because these guys are going to want just as much of it as she gets. So let me go and get it. And I'll show you what I've done for her birthday. You see, Stewie here is just going to sleep through the whole birthday because that's how he rolls. And for Pika, what I did was I made her one of her special items. Pika can't eat cake. So I made her birthday banana and peanut butter. Let's see if she'll eat some. Not, not you. Not you. Not you right yet. You can have some, but let Pika have it first because she's the birthday girl. Back up. Uh-uh. No, you wait. Be patient, piglets. Oh, she is not going to wait. Look at that birthday girl. She loves her bananas. Okay, you can have that one, Pika. And I'll give this one to little pigs. How about that? Maya, would you like some? Oh, I think she does. Hi, Sharon. Thanks for joining Pika for her birthday celebration. She's letting the others eat some of it. She likes it. He likes it. Stewie's over there sleeping. I don't know. You can have more, but you wait. Let Pika have hers. Pika is enjoying herself. This is bananas mixed with organic peanut butter. We want to make sure they don't get any xylitol, any extra sweeteners. So that's what this is. This is their special treat. Like I said, Pika needs the protein because she's been not feeling well. She's been under the weather. Throughout her lifetime, our little Pika here has had tummy issues. So she's just getting over a bad bout. The vet says she could have anything she wants, anything she felt like eating. Okay, sure. And it looks like right now, she just feels like she's just not going to get away from this bowl. Look at the Sam Duke. He likes it. We knew we were having a party today. So they got half rations of their breakfast so that they would have plenty of room for calories for treats. Look at her. She didn't stop him. Maybe I should go over and give Stewie some before Pika eats it all. All right, hold up, girlfriend. Uh oh, we dropped some on the couch. Maya, we need help. Come here, Maya. All right. Thank you, birthday girl. Maya, come get it. Come clean up the mess. Mommy made a mess. Look, come here. Get it. Oh, that was not a good job. That was not good. Loki's going to have to do it. Loki, the dentist, will probably come up and help Pika clean her mouth. Let me see if Stewie wants some. Stewie! Hey, Stewie! Stewie, would you like some? <laughs> would you like some? It's a birthday. Do you want any? Loki. Loki's cheating. Back up, cheater. No. It's not your turn. Not your turn, bucko. There we go. This is a little messy. Cake would have been a little bit easier. I have some peanut butter frosty paws for them, too. There you go. He likes it. He likes it. 
<laughs> Stewie got the frosty paws last week. Yes, he did. But his birthday actually is in September, so he'll get another chance at greatness. And Loki will probably come in here and take care of Stewie too, because we just made a mess. We got it all over the bed. Are you going to upset Stewie and go in there and clean up? See, I made a mess right here. Go get it. <laughs> Stewie says, go away. He has no tolerance for puppies. He likes, he likes Maya now. But he's not a fan of Loki. Because Loki does, he gives him kisses. He doesn't like kisses. Okay, come on, let's not annoy him. All right, we're not going to annoy him. Let him eat his own peanut butter. Silly. You're silly. You're silly. It's too much love you give. Too much. No means no. Isn't that right? Hmm? Oh, we're going to burp out of her. All right, I got more treats. Let's see if Pika will like her next treat. I have some Kong cheese. Let's see if she likes that. This is also made expressly for the dogs. Not you. I know I said the word cheese. I did. I said it. I said cheese. I know. I know. But you have to wait. You wait. It's her birthday. It's her birthday first and she likes it. She likes the cheese. She likes it. It's a good birthday. These are the little things that she enjoys now. She didn't get any real presents because she doesn't play with any toys anymore. We go, yeah. We go. These nom noms. These nom noms. Did you like it? Did you like it? She loves cheese. She's a cheese face. I don't know that many dogs that don't love cheese. We know that Porter loves cheese on his channel. But did you know that this dog is a cheese face? Look at her. Look at this cheese. <laughs> cheese? Cheese? Come down here. Come here, Maya. Come here. What are you going to do for cheese? Maya, can you jump for cheese? Jump high. Jump. Good girl. Can you roll over for cheese? You can. Can you dance for cheese? You will. You can have some cheese. That's a little cheese. Now Maya's tongue is a bit fancier than Pika's tongue. Look how fast she did that. Loki. What will you do for cheese? Can you pretty? Loki, can you pretty for the cheese? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We have a reverse sneeze happening. She's too excited. Oh, dear. Pretty? Oh, you're a good boy. Pretty? Good boy. Can you dance for the cheese? Dance for the cheese, Loki. Dance. Dance. Loki, dance. Good boy, spin. Good boy. You can have the cheese, too. Both of you have the cheese. Maya, it's not your turn. It is not your turn, Maya. Back up. No, Maya. No, wait. It's Loki's turn. There you go. There you go. Did you like? You did like it. Oh, she is. 
very happy. She has banana, peanut butter, cheese face. And she is feeling fine. It's a good birthday. Yeah. Now we have puzzles for them. I reserve Sunday as our puzzle day. Don't hassle your sister, Loki. Oh, he's going over there to clean her face. And she says, mm, no, thank you. I would like my mess. Thanks. KK, thanks. Loki, would you like to do a puzzle? Do you want to do a puzzle? I have the other half of their breakfast in the puzzle. Uh, we have two puzzles today. You get them. You get them with one handed without dropping them. We have two puzzles today. One for Maya and one for Loki. Wait. You, you wait. This one will be for Loki. Wait. Loki, back up. Uh-uh. You wait. And this one will be for Maya. The other half of their breakfast is in them. <laughs> so let's see how they do. You can have it. Go ahead, Maya. I purposely made Maya's harder today. Because usually this is the easiest puzzle. We made it harder by adding the bones so it doesn't spin as well. So she has to get rid of the white bones before it will spin for her. Let's see if she works it out. Good girl, Maya. You can do it. There she goes. She knows what has to be done. Can you get it? Can you get it? Yes, good girl. You found it. Good girl. Well, Loki over here is a puzzle destroyer. I purposely give him this one because right now this is the hardest puzzle that we have in the house. This one takes a lot to be able to do. There's so many so many mechanisms on it. There you go, good boy. Good boy. Good boy. He is. He's pretty amazing at it. Now, Maya's over here still working. Okay, she's done the complete top. She's got the bones out. Now she's got to spin, spin that yellow one. Good girl. Good girl. You can do it, Maya. You can do it. There she goes. Come on, Maya. You can do it. She's not used to the other one spinning on top of it. She's having trouble. If she dumps the whole puzzle, that would actually be pretty smart, but... You can do it! They have so much fun with these things. I mean, this is like work for them, but I 
No, she's 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 not as fast. Oh, there she goes. She's she's got it. She just found it. Good girl. Good girl. Now she's got to get this one out. If she gets this one out, then the rest of the puzzle will spin. Oh, Loki's like, now let me help you. Let me see how he's doing. So you have to move these in order to move this. Let's see how much he's done. I think he's through. Okay, he's just amazing. This this one, this guy. Oh my God, you need some new puzzles. I mean, honestly, you have to move this around to move this to move this to get this one. So he's gotten them all empty. He's the puzzle meister. He's you killed it, Loki. You did it. You're so good. You are. You're so good. You're the puzzle meister. My, well, Maya's over here trying to lick the edges. Maya, look. Get this side. Get this side. Look. 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 Come here. I'll help her. Come here. Maya, look. This one. This one. There we go. Okay. Now spin it some more. Spin it. Good girl. Look what's over here. Look, Maya, before Loki gets it right there. Because he's killed his puzzle. He's coming for yours. Make, make, make no mistake. Get it, Maya. Good. Yes, girl. Yes. This is the first time I've ever made this puzzle harder. So she's... I probably shouldn't have put all the bones in there, but I just want to... I thought it would take Loki longer to do his. <laughs> He's a predator. He's going to come for hers. Good girl! You got it! Good girl! Spin it! You gotta get this one. There's one more over here. Get this one. That's right. Good girl. <laughs> she has a pretty face, doesn't she? She's a little smarty pants, though, this one. There's nothing she can't do. She's figured it out. It's just clumsy when you have no, you got no thumbs. Can you get it? Good him. He is trying to make more food come out of that thing. Look at him spin it. Good girl, Maya. Get it. Get it, Maya. Good girl. Get that out of it. Yes. Yes, Maya. Good girl. You did it. You did it. Now spin around. Spin around. Guess what? There's more. There's more. You got it, good girl. What a way to work for your breakfast. Look, it's empty, and he's still having a fun time trying to make more stuff come out of it. Yeah, so funny story, today I was looking for these. And you know what? When you pack and you move, sometimes things get misplaced. And I had these extra bones. Okay, Loki. All right. Okay. There's no more in there. There's no more in there. He's like, I can make more happen. No, it's all gone. It's all gone. But anyway, um, so I was looking for these bones, and I had them packed away in another dog box. And, you know, when you get puppies, you get problems with all kinds of things. And Loki was no exception. He was a little chewer. We wanted to make sure he didn't chew wires and stuff like that. So I bought this stuff, and it was called Fooey. 
And it, it's really nasty, bitter stuff. And I had it packed in the doggy thing and it leaked. So it leaked all over these things. And I picked up the stuff and the gel is clear so you don't know what you're getting. I picked up all these things and I'm getting puzzles already. And it was warm in the house and I started to kind of like sweat and I touched my face and lips and I didn't realize that I had fooey all over my hands. Well, out comes the tongue to lick the lips. That stuff spread all over my mouth. I thought I would die. It was so bitter and so nasty and so disgusting. So I learned my lesson after I handle these doggy things. My hands do not go near my face, but I washed everything really carefully so that the dogs wouldn't be afraid of these little bones because of the bitter. Oh, I can't believe I did that. I gotta pick up after them and then we'll go back to the rest of the live because he will continue to demolish our puzzles. What a good job you did. You're such a good boy. You're such a good boy. You are. Good boy. Good boy. Okay, so I have some more stuff for tricks and stuff. I have some treats in my pocket. We'll see if they'll do stuff for them. And our birthday girl is still sitting here. She's still happy. Yeah, you still happy? It's your good. She's a good girl. She's Miss Pika. She's our queen. She's our queen. Come here, guys. Come down here. Maya. Maya. Okay, we have tricks. Let's make the tricks interactive today. Who would like to see them do what? What would you like to see Miss Maya do for this treat? I'm leaving it up to the crew. First one that gives me something, Miss Maya will have to do it. What is it? Will you be spinning? Will you be rolling over? Oh, the faint. Loki doesn't do it, but Maya does. Are you ready, Maya? I have something for you. This is for Auntie Marlene. Are you ready? For all the marbles, Maya. Ah, do it again. <laughs> Get out of the way, you monster. Good girl. Good girl. Okay, so Loki has to do something. And his repertoire is not as large. So we can make him down. Good boy. Good boy. Can you sit? Good boy. Spin. Good job. You can have yours. Good job. Good job. Let's see. Maya. Maya. Listen. Can you jump? Yes, you can. You're a smart girl. Oh, I dropped it. Oh, I dropped more than one. Maya, you got all kinds of treats that time, didn't you? You didn't have to do but one, tri one trick. So I'm going to make you do a couple now. Maya, can you sit? Can you pretty? Maya, would you jump? Yes, Maya. Can you dance? Oh, you're such a good girl. What a smarty pants. You're a smarty pants. You might not do the puzzles as fast, but you're a smarty pants. This is a puzzle meister, but he doesn't learn as many tricks yet. I think I have to sit with his breakfast and make him do tricks for me. Loki! Loki! Listen! Listen! Who's in the kitchen? Do you hear somebody in the kitchen? Who do you hear? <coughs> That's his regular bark. He can do it. Not all his barks are chirps. Who is it? What is it? Oh. 
Who is it? Who's there? There's nobody there. I just hear hear my son walking around. He does really bark. That is his real bark. So the chirp is something different. Yeah. The chirp is altogether different. It's something he does on the side. That's not his real bark. So when he chirps, he really is trying to tell us something different. Like he really wants a different kind of attention. Looky, okay, pretty, pretty, you're pretty, pretty, pretty. Oh, you're a pretty boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. See, nobody, nobody believed that you really bark. No one believed it. But it's true. Maya. Maya is my mouthy one. Come here, Maya. Come here. Tell me. Tell me what. No, tell me. You go tell me what. Tell me. Oh, you're mouthy, aren't you? Are you a mouthy girl? Who's a mouthy girl? Who's a mouthy girl? Maya's a mouthy girl. Tell me. Tell me more. You're, you're, just a, you're just a performer. Come here. You can have it. I've been trying to teach him to speak on command, to chirp on command, and he will not do it. Oh, good. We might get some playtime. I always like it when they try to do some playing for you, for you guys. To see, this, they do this all the time. This is their special purpose. It's just to amuse me. And you, can, oh, you, can, you can hear my mouthy baby. Maya is the one that does all the growling and stuff. And she just does it to do it. It's just her expression. Loki never makes a sound when he plays with her, except for if, if she apps, if she nips him. And she goes after some things, man. She goes after, after his, oh, oh. Keep it PG, girlfriend. She goes after his fur. His rough, his ears, she bites his legs, and he just he just smiles right through it. He's just like her loofah. Get her go after him. Feist. We have birthday girl still up here. Just happy to be out of the fray. Let her having her peanut butter and and banana. She's happy. Loki. Loki. I think some peanut butter and banana dropped on the carpet. No, we don't eat carpet. Oh, that's gross. Okay, sorry I said that. Don't. Don't do that. Don't do that. Is Alessia in chat? Yeah, sometimes uh, emojis do trip comments and... Uh, in the lives as well as in the um, regular comment section of a channel. Too many of them um, send it to spam. I don't know. I guess that's sometimes spammers use those things. One or two images is good. Oh, there we go. I see it. Hi, Alicia. Here we go. There's your birthday girl. Here's your birthday girl. Let's go see Alicia. Here we go. There's the birthday queen right here. She's already had some peanut butter and some banana, which are her favorite things combined. It's like heaven for her. 
It's nice and soft. She doesn't have to fight with it, and she just loves it. And then we have our party goers, Maya. She, Pika tolerates her now. She's had her birthday stuff in. She loved it. She had some cheese. Yeah. She did. She did. She had all of the goodies. All of the goodies. Pretty soon she might need a rescue. If she starts to get restless, she'll have to go potty. Yeah. Let's see. What else do we have to do? We have, at the end of our party, we have some Frosty Paws. And it is in Pika's favorite flavor, which is peanut butter. So we'll be doing that in a couple minutes. She'll get some of that and she'll share it with her friends. Her friends? Are you her friend? Are you her friend? You want to say hi to Alyssa too? Say hi. Hey y'all. Hey Shoki. Hey y'all. It's Maya. Oh, you're going to scratch? Do you got an itch? Do you have an itch? Oh, Stewie might want out. Let's see. Did you clean yourself up after your peanut butter and banana, buddy? Come on, come back uh, out. Loki will leave you alone, maybe. Maybe. Here we go. Yeah. Loki was loving him a little bit too much. And he got peanut butter and banana all over him when he was trying to lick it up. So that means that he's a target. <laughs> Auntie Marlene says hi. He's like, I'm out of here. See you all later. <laughs> yeah, he, he, he wants to go and hide somewhere. <gasps> I have some more goodies. I have some more goodies, Stewie. Do you want some? Do you want some? Let me go get that peanut butter stuff. Bear with me while I go into the kitchen. I'll go and get it. I'm the Pied Piper Chihuahuas. Ah, oh, there they come. What's in here? What's in here? Uh-oh. Oh, Loki. Do you know what that is? Do you know what this is already? I don't know, maybe. Maybe, oh, Stewie, Stewie. You know, I should give it to the birthday girl first, but would you like a little lick? Would you like a little lick first? You wanna be first? Oh. Yeah, he come to the party, so he gets a little lickings. Yeah. You like that? Tastes good? Yeah, you get more for your party in September. Let's go give it to the birthday girl. Pika! Here we come. Hi, Pika. Hi, Pika. There we go. I don't know. Maybe she'll do it. Maybe she won't. Might be too cold for her. Oh, there we go. We got some lickings of her birthday ice cream. It's funny. She likes the peanut butter. She doesn't like the vanilla. This dog is a peanut butter face. I think if they made cheese ice cream, she would like that too. I mean, to humans, I think cheese ice cream sounds absolutely vile. But to the dogs, eh, who knows? Oh, she likes that. Oh, Maya, you have to wait your turn. You wait your turn. Wait. Okay, you wait. 
It's her birthday. She gets it first. Maya's birthday isn't till October. In October. She'll be three. Oh, she's liking that. Look at that. She has gotten some birthday licks on that. Good girl. You want to share your party favor with these guys? Okay. Maya, you can be first. Uh oh, wait. Stewie's come back. Let's do age before beauty. Stewie, you can have it. No, Maya, you wait. We'll let the old folks get it. Yeah, you have to do nice things for the old ones. We were at 3 o'clock, but remember, we are on Eastern Daylight Time right now. So being on the East Coast, we start at 3 o'clock. Well, that's my time. And I, I don't think you're in the same time zone as I am, Auntie Deborah. I think, um, aren't you like Central Time? There we go. Maya gets some. <laughs> Stewie, you have a fan. Sharon loves you. Sharon loves you, Stewie. Yeah, so anytime I say 3 o'clock, you have to subtract the amount of hours or, or whatever from your time. Uh-uh. Uh-uh, nasty girl. You don't share. You don't get any more. Here, it's Loki's turn. No, Maya. You wait. Yeah, this is gooey. He wants to get all up in there. He usually is so far away from everyone. <laughs> but he really wants that ice cream. Mm, mm, Loki. Loki. He can work a ice cream cup. Okay, let's give Stewie some more. He's so excited. These guys get what they like. The little old ones don't do tricks and stuff anymore for my amusement. So I live for their amusement. Whatever I can do to make these guys happy. <laughs> yeah. Ice cream brings Stewie to the yard. He didn't even really come out for the banana mash. He he was he was not at all very interested in that, which was kind of funny. I thought he would really like it. Maya, would you like some more? Are you going to be nice? Is it going to be nice or is it going to be Cruella? Remember the Cruella right here. She likes to be princess pie of the yard and she lets everybody know when it's her turn she doesn't want to share <laughs> yes the, uh, actually this will this live will be public um, for permanency on the channel um, after we close the live it goes into a processing stage and it can take several hours for them to process a video like this that's about an hour long so the whole thing will be broadcast again usually goes live the next day for me Ooh, yeah. this little guy it's Stewie is so funny he reminds me of a fennec fox you don't know what that is? The fennec fox? 
That's what his name should have been. We called, should have called him Fennec. Look at those ears. When we got him as a puppy, same thing with Maya. They say, congratulations, you have a set of ears with a small puppy attached to them. He looks like a little fox. You are just a little finnick fox. Okay, let's go back over here to Princess Pie, because it is her birthday. Would you like some more, Queen? Would you like some more? She says, yes, I would like some more. Thank you. Thank you for remembering whose birthday it is. It's Pika's birthday. It should all be for Pika. The rest of the peons shouldn't have anything that belongs to Pika today. Little sweetheart. She's a little sweetheart. A little old sweetheart. Our little Pika. Hi, Bracola. Thank you so much for joining us. Yeah, we hope she has many, many years. I, I tell you, these dogs, I'm so attached to them. The whole family really revolves around them. We used to do a lot of traveling and so forth with Pika and Stewie and my belated Moxie. And they went with me everywhere. Wherever I went, if I went on vacation, these guys went with me. And now that they're so uh, frail, they can't go where, where we go. So we don't go. No, some one of the family members has to be with them pretty much at all times. If I don't have family staying with them, we don't call. Isn't that right? You've never seen the inside of a kennel. Didn't happen. Hello, Pika has it on her nose. Oh my, how much fun she's having! Look at that. You got stuff on your nose. <laughs> oh, Auntie Deborah, that's good. I didn't realize that we had a time zone thing going. All, all the time when I say that I'm going to do them, I say EDT, which is we are in daylight's time right now. I hope we don't go back into the whole switchy thing. Wish we had just a standard time. You know, that whole gain an hour, lose an hour thing. It's never made much sense to me. It even messes with the dogs. Look at her nose. <laughs> Let me give it to Princess Pie again. You have, you have a milk beard. You need to take care of that. Yeah. I have to say she's really enjoying her birthday. She is really loving this stuff. Doesn't care for the vanilla, but peanut butter is just it for her. Peanut butter and cheese. Ugh, that would be a thing. She likes it. Yeah, she does. Look at that. This stuff is really good for her right now because she needs some calories Arizona and Hawaii no daylight savings that's nice I used to live in Indiana for a while we didn't have it there until oh, shortly before I left they made it so that it would go eastern time and that it would switch and that was just a mistake because Actually, I felt like in Indiana, it didn't. It started not getting dark until after ten o'clock at night, which affected everything actually in the summer. I mean, they'd be trying to put up fireworks at nine o'clock, which is usually the time that fireworks would be done. Would you like some more? Come here. You not, no, not you, Missy. You. And uh, they'd be putting them up pretty much practically at dusk. Oh, 
we go. He likes it. They're getting a lot of ice cream today because it's a special time. Usually, these two right here, I restrict their sweets. It's not really all that sweet. It's just got the peanut butter in it, I think. And look at, look at this guy. Look at this one. Would you like some more? Would you like some more? Yes? Do you would like more? Okay. He's loving it. Just so happy. So we'll be making this an every Sunday thing at three o'clock. Eastern Standard Time. So, if you live in a different time zone, plan accordingly. Okay, let's see. Who else? <laughs> oh, poor Stewie. I wish he could control that tongue like he used to. He used to be very talented. Yeah, when, when you have the rescues and you don't know what their birthdays are, you just usually pick a day or just do a gotcha day. I mean, for these two, they have both birthdays because we know them. And we have gotcha days because I remember when I got them. But for Stewie here, I know his birthday because it was on his papers. But I can't remember what day was your gotcha. I can't remember. I think we got you in November. But I don't remember what day. But he's just like a little piggy. A little creamy piggy at a trough. He would like some more. And he's waiting his turn patiently too. This guy. Because Maya's already given him the warning. So he knew he better wait. Yeah, Pika is the birthday girl this time. And Stewie turns 16 in September. So he has two months more to go. And then it'll be this little old guy's time to get more peanut butter cup. Because you can certainly see he loves it. I'm surprised that he's waiting his turn so patiently. And this, I'm surprised that she's waiting her turn. But it's going to be Pika's turn next. Almost done. Here's that birthday girl. Not you, Maya. Here's the birthday girl. She can get some more. My little smooth coat baby. He's so sweet. Maya, is that your tummy I hear? Your tummy making noise? You're so sad. Oh, she's enjoying it. Yeah, usually Miss Peek is hiding all during filming. She just wants to be by herself. In her little bed. She loves her blankies. She loves heating pads. She loves decorating my carpet with her tinkle fairy business. But we give her a break because she's old. Our house is a forever home. So when they get old and they make questionable decisions, we give them a pass. They've given us so much love and loyalty, haven't you, baby? Is your tongue getting tired? Yeah, her tongue's getting tired. 
Okay, you two. You two can have some. Lookie, you next. You're waiting so patiently. You're being so patient. You're being such a good boy. Your turn. There we go. We'll be wrapping it up soon. They've had so much. I have full tummies and they're going to all take naps, probably. Leave me messages about what you'd like to see them do next. I've got my happy, <laughs> happy musical videos that I put up, you know, where I just put up them interacting with each other. Would you like to see more vlog type stuff? Just like our lives and where we go and what we take them to do. Do you want to see more trick videos? Just leave me some comments. Let me know what you'd like to see. Because we love sharing our chihuahuas with everybody. Stewie has gone off to do Stewie stuff. So these guys are the last ones. Oh, look at those. They're almost done. You're almost done. Did you want to finish it? That little piggy here. Look at that face. Look at that face. Tightrope walking. Oh my goodness. I don't know. I I wonder if I could get her to do balance beam or something. I don't know. I probably could. She's a little little gymnast. Would you like to see her do the, like the uneven bars or the jumping over stuff? <laughs> She's not too much into agility. I don't have an agility course. I thought about doing that with her when she was a puppy. During COVID, it was really kind of hard, though, because she couldn't find any place to really do that. And since I've never really done agility, I didn't know where to start. And since we were renting and didn't have a yard at the time, I never bought any of the stuff. Yeah, Loki is really, he is so into, into this ice cream. Oh, and by the way, for any of you that saw the gopher video, guess who's back? Our gopher is back. I found out where the gopher is trying to live. And we're trying to make it less of a sweet habitat so that the gopher will move on. Because the gopher is going to dig holes under our fence and make it so puppies want to escape. And we don't want that. But we found fresh gopher hole. And I know that's what it is because I've never seen anything quite as large ever in this yard. Almost done. Almost done. How far can you stick your nose in the cup? That's the question. Share with Loki. Yeah, we really, the gopher is a problem because maybe, I mean, I'm wondering if it's a female. Um, the gopher, though, like I said, is a problem because, I mean, it was willing to jump at me and Maya just kind of went bananas on it. And that's not good for the gopher and it's not good for the dog. So hopefully we can just make our yard look a little less um, prime real estate for that gopher because it's a squatter and we're not really interested in sharing our property with it. She's going she's gonna to get this ice cream all over her head. She is going to get it all over her head. 
She's the one that sticks her head in everything. <laughs> you think the gopher's a fan? I don't think the gopher's a fan. It's all gone. It's all gone, Loki. It's all gone. All gone. Oh, look at our precious little paw up in the air. I'm going to put it over here and I know what you bad boys are going to do. Look at her. She's so sweet. She's so sweet. She's so tiny. What an itty bitty little baby. Our little itty bitty. She's sweetness personified. This is Iggy. I kiss right there. You kiss that spot right there. Yes, I do. And Loki has found the container, and he's not satisfied that it's empty, so he wants to actually do the investigation. <laughs> Here, you go get it over there so I can play with Pika for the last minute. She does look very satisfied. I think she's had a good day. I think she's got to sleep it off. Yeah, she's a good girl. What a sweet girl she is. She deserves a good birthday with lots of treats. Lots of treats. I really appreciate all of you joining us for our live for Pika's birthday. Pika had a good day sharing it with everyone. We just really appreciate all of you, all of our friends at the channel. You guys make it special for us to be able to share our special bond with our babies. The young ones and the old ones. Maybe coming up soon. Well, at some point. We, we still have so much to give to Pika and to Stewie. Uh, at some point, we probably will do a foster for some other dogs that might not have it as good as these guys do because we have the yard now. But we're in no real rush to do that because we're still settling in. We want to make sure that these guys are all taken care of and happy before we move on and try to take care of others. But we're thinking about it. Yeah, we're thinking about it. Yeah. It would definitely be a foster situation, though. So we could be a halfway house. Yeah, we could be a halfway house for either a youngster or an oldster. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. So we'll take care of everybody as long as they're chihuahuas. I would think about doing a Yorkie, maybe, but it definitely has to be a dog that's no more than eight pounds. Because we couldn't have a bruiser in the house. Yeah, this one's too dainty. So we're going to wrap it up. Thank you to everybody that joined us for Pika's special day. We really appreciate each and every one of you. You know, Pika had a good time. She has a full belly of good stuff. Here's Maya. Say goodbye, Maya. Say bye bye. Say bye bye. Here you go. Say bye bye. Bye, aunties. Bye. <laughs> Love you guys. Thanks so much for hanging out. Have a good rest of your Sunday.